The cooktops and the Thermador Professional Series really have some amazing tools to cook with. This cooktop has six burners. Each burner is 18,000 BTUs. Now, that's a lot of power to cook with, but you'll be so impressed with the amount of control that Thermador has given you with these powerful burners. The first thing to remember when you're cooking on your professional cooktop is before you turn the cooktop on, be sure to turn the ventilation on. When you turn the ventilation on, even to a low speed, you establish airflow. So that means any of the grease, the particulate matter, the fumes, everything is going to go straight up the vent instead of into your house. Each burner is 18,000 BTUs on this professional cooktop. But that 18,000 BTUs doesn't always have to be used at maximum intensity. In fact, it's very easy to warm up a very small pot of milk, cook a small pot of espresso on here. It's all a matter of choosing the correct setting of the burner. Obviously, for very delicate foods, you're going to use the low setting. With this cooktop, it's so well designed. What I want you to think about is that you're not cooking with fire alone. If you just cook with fire, you'll burn all your food. But look at the design of the burner. We have this wonderful brass base, and then we have the star-shaped cast iron burner on top of that. These tools absorb the heat, retain the heat, and radiate that heat back to your pan. So the first thing we want to do is get the burners nice and hot. That's why we always heat our pans over moderate heat. Unless you're bringing liquids to a boil really quickly, there's no reason to crank it up to high temperatures right away. We love the control that we get with our Thermador burners. We do have that high heat that we can use when we want to bring a liquid to a boil very quickly, but we've got that great simmer so that we can cook the delicate foods. But in addition to those two great tools, we also have extra low. Thermador has two unique features on their cooktops. One is the star-shaped burners and the other is extra low. This is a timed cycle. If I set the extra low to the very lowest setting, the burner will be on for seven seconds and then it will turn off for approximately 53. Each burner has single point ignition, so only the burner that is active will click. None of the other burners will click. Now, if you need a little more action in the pan, you can set the burner at the highest extra low setting in which case it will be on for almost a minute and off for a short period of time, about seven to eight seconds. Here's what happens during the extra low cycle. When the burner reignites, it brings enough heat into the burner to keep the burner hot, which is in turn giving you an indirect heat source to gently simmer and hold foods for a long period of time. Why we can even melt chocolate chips on a heavy duty paper plate on the lowest extra low setting on this Thermador professional cooktop. One of the things that really bothers people about high heat cooktops is boil overs. You can eliminate boil overs if you use the heat judiciously. We can cook rice very easily on this cooktop by just thinking about how to use the heat. When I cook this one cup of rice on this cooktop, bring the water to a boil, add the rice, and then I put the uh, pan on to simmer. Usually after about 10 or 15 minutes, I begin to see some bubbles come up around the uh, lid of the pan, in which case I turn the burner to extra low. I can set it on the extra low setting. I get perfect rice. I get no boil overs. Learn how to use this heat judiciously. Heat your pans over moderate heat. When you're ready to cook, crank up the burner, add your oil and butter, and you'll have a wonderful tool to cook with. And when it comes to cleaning, well, we couldn't do, it couldn't be any easier. The design of this cooktop is so good. As you can see, the burners on the cooktop are elevated. That means that I can take a cloth and clean easily under the base of the burners and keep the cooktop nice and clean. When it comes to cleaning the black enamel cooktop, always start with uh, products that are non-toxic or not harsh chemicals. We always begin with warm soapy water. Uh, that helps get the grease off the cooktop to start with. There are some very good uh, degreasing products you can buy on the market. And for a gentle scrubbing action, we prefer to use Bon Ami 
or Barkeeper's Friend. These are products that scour without scratching and will help you keep the cooktop nice and clean. The burner grates and the burner caps can be washed in warm soapy water in the sink. Generally the cooktop can be kept in really good condition. And you know the answer? Just don't overheat your pans. It makes all the difference.